Yes, uh, I want to take you through solubility of a solute. Uh, this is a topic in Form 4, Acids and Pieces, and we have solubility curves, solubility and solubility curves. But I want to emphasize on the mathematics part of it, and I want to start from the basics uh, that made even myself when I was in high school, I could not understand this subtopic of solubility of a solute because I, I did not understand the basics. So first, there are things I want you to understand before you get into the uh, details of solubility. First, you should know how to define solubility of a solute. What is solubility of a solute? So, solubility of a solute, this is the mass of a solute that will dissolve in 100 grams of a solvent to form a saturated solution at a given temperature. That is correct. But the question is, do you understand what is a saturated solution? Do you know what is a solvent? Do you know what is a solute? That's where the game kicked me out when I was in high school. But now, I know better. For us to understand solubility, let us define these terms. What is a solute? A solute. A solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent to produce a homogeneous mixture. Even if you stop it at here, that dissolves in a solvent, leave the rest. So a solute is a substance which dissolves in a solvent. And then what is a solvent? A solvent is a solution, is a liquid, let me call it a liquid, or a substance in which a solute dissolves. That is very correct. So, when a solute dissolves in a solvent, the product is a solution. So, what is a solution? A solution must contain a solute plus a solvent. Let me take an example of a solvent. A solvent water. This is the common solvent we are using. A solute. Solutes, we have so many solutes. Take sodium chloride. This is a salt and it is a solute. So when you dissolve sodium chloride in water, this is a solute plus a solvent, you form a solution of sodium chloride. Right? What you form is sodium chloride. And that is a solution. Now when you understand that one, you are going to find the solubility calculation is very, very easy. Very easy to tackle. Another word I want you to get is a saturated solution. What is a saturated solution? A saturated solution is a solution in which no more solute can dissolve at that temperature. It is a solution in which no more solute can dissolve. That is solution in which no more of the salt can dissolve in that particular temperature is called a saturated solution. A saturated solution is a solution that contains the maximum amount of the solute. Maximum. If something has a maximum amount, it means it cannot, no, it can no longer take more. Maximum amount of the solute that can be dissolved under the conditions at which the solution exists. If it is existing at 25 degrees Celsius and the maximum solute has dissolved in that solution, it will stop, it will not dissolve any more of the solute. The solute, the solute you are going to add will remain at the bottom of the solution. I hope you understand that. So I will demonstrate something for you here and then you will see. And then now we will go forward to calculations after I've demonstrated something here. Having understood what is a saturated solution, having known what is a solvent, 
having known what is a solute, now we can comfortably define solubility of a solute. Now let me take you slowly what is solubility of a solute. This is the mass of a solute that will dissolve that will dissolve in a hundred grams of the solvent. I've said the solvent mostly we use is water to form a saturated solution at a given temperature. So if I, I have 50 grams dissolved in a hundred grams of water, a hundred grams of water, this is what we call solubility of that solute to form a saturated solution. So it is the mass of a solute that will dissolve in a hundred grams of water to form a saturated solution at a given temperature. Very important because solubility depends on temperature. When you vary temperature, when you change temperature, the solubility changes. Mark that. So whenever you are asking to calculate solubility of a salt, if you are told calculate the solubility of a salt, you are simply asking to calculate the mass in grams, in the mass in a hundred centimeters cube of water. Calculate the solubility. The solubility exists in a hundred grams of a solvent. So I will take you straight to examples because when we do examples, you will be able to understand more than the theorem I'm talking about.